Keegan Murray has been a bright spot for the Sacramento Kings team. As a rookie, he has entered the league as a knockdown shooter, the best rookie three-point shooter, shooting the three ball at a 40% clip while attempting at least six three-pointers a game. Murray and Kevin Herter has become vital in the Kings overall three-point shooting this season. Murray at 6'8 has a nice shooting form, quick release that is a threat in any area on the floor. Within the Kings fast paced offense, he becomes a threat in transition where he can leak out quickly and guys like Fox and Sabonis will find him. He is highly efficient as a rookie operating off the advantages created for him. He ranks in the 81st percentile in spot ups and has a 35% frequency in this area. On handoffs, he operates at a 15% frequency and ranks in the 79th percentile. He's shooting 40% on catch and shoot threes. He benefits a lot off of a broken, rotating defense, and he can be a reliable, stationary shooter. There has also been another gear that Murray shows, which is in his movement shooting, being able to work off of screens or handoffs, running into those actions, and getting into a shot all on balance, aligned, and within one motion. That's been something he has shown he can do through the course of this season. For a 6'8 guy to be an effective movement shooter can really put pressure on defenses to stay with him through screens. His teammate Kevin Herter has been great as a movement shooter. Guys like JJ Redick and Klay Thompson have made a living in the league being great movement shooters. Keegan has a wide base on his shot, meaning there is a good amount of distance between his feet while in a shooting motion. He's a turn shooter with nice form and shoots all in one motion. The quick release really helps because he needs just a little bit of daylight to let it fly and he has the confidence to shoot the ball every time. He can also work at times as a cutter, providing more of that off-ball movement within the Kings offense. There's not much on-ball creation or creativity in Murray's game, though at times we are treated to some off-the-dribble three-point shooting, but other than that, there's not too much of a defined in-between game from him. His closeout attacks are a mixed bag, he can pump fake the closeout defender, but attacking the next defender is where he lacks. He's not physical on his drives and can shy away from contact, going up weak at times, and he's just not crafty around the rim to be considered a threat as a driver or finisher. He lacks overall strength and balance on his drives and can fumble shots when met by stronger players. The on-ball creation just doesn't seem to be an area where he is very confident in just yet. According to Clean the Glass, he shoots 63% at the rim, which ranks in the 31st percentile among forwards. Murray, for the most part, is a straight line driver. If he sees the one angle to attack, he will attack it in a straight line, but he doesn't have much burst or a tight handle to keep defenders on their heels when he puts the ball down. He does have a little floater he can go to when approaching the rim that he can lean on at times. One thing I would want to see explored more of Keegan is being a post up option. He has good size and control on the ball to where I think he can at least be a threat close to the rim when defended by smaller players. Defensively, Murray has been pretty solid on the season. Some ups and downs, but there is growth in that department. I'm much higher on him as a team defender. He has some really good instincts when he is in help. Murray does a pretty good job keeping his man and the ball in his sights, and he can make some timely rotations when needed. In situations where he needs to rotate and scramble around he has been a plus there rushing out to close out and being in the right spots he even shows at times where he can slide over and make plays protecting the rim at the point of attack he gives effort but can die on possessions especially against quicker stronger players he lacks overall quickness to keep up with those kinds of guys best suited to defend forwards. His length, a solid 6'11 wingspan can help at times keeping his arms up on drives and getting contests on shots. He really does give an effort on that end and he can hold his own. Murray has been an intriguing talent for the Kings, one of their best shooters, a team player who shows defensive upside but the creation on ball is going to be something to monitor as this can take his game to the next level. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like and subscribe for more breakdowns like these. And with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next video.